Well, it's been a while, so I thought I'd get back with you guys, let you know what's going on with Kay. Uh, it's been a few weeks. You haven't really missed anything exciting, but uh, we'll go out here and see what uh, what they're doing today. You know, if you read the title, you know there's a game plan set up, ready to go, and uh, trying to execute that game plan, starting with the external fuel tank that was received from Germany. Uh, we've got to tear it down, open it up, tear it apart, and then we'll have to open up and uh, the existing tank that Craig got crashed, take the insides out of that, and convert the uh, new tank to for K's setup. And that's about it. I think uh, I think this will be fairly short. Um, you haven't missed anything in the last few weeks. Uh, nothing exciting to really record. But uh, we'll go in there and see what we can find and uh, maybe make something look um, halfway decent. I would like to thank everybody once again for staying with me on this long project. Um, I know it's getting to be a bit of a drag, me not doing this every week, but uh, there's just nothing there to shoot every week, as I told you before. Um, and I, I would run the list of all the names that uh, have been standing around, hanging around with me during all this. Uh, I don't have the software, editing software doesn't do that that I use. Um, so. Uh, of course, I forget to write the names down, so I can't, <laughs> can't tell you who you are, but thank you all very much. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you hanging in there with us. Um, it's going to get better. It's just a uh, slow start. So, with that, I'll, uh, we'll run the, run the video and let you see what's going on. Thank you for watching, and we'll be right back. Grill on a film, too. down there. Okay, I'm going to take over with the uh, voiceover at this point. The background noise in the hangar was quite substantial. So um, the object is to get the this tank from Germany taken apart so we can get all the parts out of it. And as you'll see, um, we had to leave a little bit in there that's similar to what our um, external tip tank has in it. Um, what we're going to really have to do is take everything out of this one from Germany that we don't need or doesn't work for us on K and then go to our crashed external fuel tank that was on K and take all the ends open it up and take all the insides out of that that we do need which is all of it and adapt it to the inside of this particular one uh, you can see there was some damage on the outside and the guys beat it out and kind of scuffed it up a little bit uh, for paint um, this is the external fuel tank that took the hit when the airplane crashed. And I'll uh, show you the front here in just a second uh, where the, the entire impact uh, really just knocked the heck out of this nose piece. Um, so, and I put my hand there just so you get an idea how deep that is. And uh, so that's it. That's what's going on. I'm going to leave it at that. We'll get back with you in a few weeks or sooner if something really cool really happens. Uh, but until then, you all have a good week. Thank you for watching, and I do appreciate all of you. Goodbye.